Hi everybody, it's Boaz Fowler and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for March 20th, 2016. Happy International Astrology Day everyone! Congratulations all you astrologers working to bring the old and the new knowledge back into this world. So this is a day that we celebrate us working with the stars, the subject of astrology in general and everybody who practices this sacred knowledge. May we have a wonderful year ahead. Amen. This is also the spring equinox, the time in which daytime and nighttime are sort of equal and we could feel the days growing longer towards spring and summer. It's the day that the sun enters the sign of Aries, signifying the breaking of spring. It's the time, like we said yesterday, that nature starts blooming again and bringing its flowers out and really getting ready for the fruits that would be provided at the end of summer. And in a sense, it's an important time for us to set our intentions and, and, and <clears throat> really bring clarity to how we want to develop through this spring so we could bring the sweetest fruits at the end of the summer. Let's talk a bit about this day. This day brings a moon that is void, of course, for most of your day if you're living in Central Europe if you're living in the States, it would be till noontime. It's a day that we have the moon in Leo, but as I said, it's void of course. Even though it's void of course, it's Queen Kong seeing Mercury at around 1100 hours Central European time. It's early in your morning time, America. And it, this energy really talks about the fact that if we want to develop, if we want to transform, we have to leave some things behind some of our words, some of our ideas, some of the, uh, the ways that we've been used to communicate with other people in our life, some of the ways that we navigated our lives before. And in a sense, if we want to achieve the tasks, the goals, our dreams, some of the things that prevent us from getting there, from reaching that, are here, are inside, are close to our hearts, are the paradigms that keep us stagnating in our old selves. So this day and its energies is a lot about leaving some of us behind so we can develop and spring anew and bring sweet fruits at the end of the summer. Leaving some of our ideas regarding our lives and regarding ourselves behind and allowing change to occur. Important. As the sun enters Aries, it's going to bring a much more energetic and, and straightforward energy into what was a very Piscean environment up to now. Tomorrow, Mercury is also going to go into Aries, again, allowing us to navigate our life in the faster lane and in a more correct way, in a more conscious way than it was in Pisces up to now. Venus is in Pisces and it's conjuncting Neptune in the sky. It's a time that we can enjoy great romance in our relationships and, and fantasy. And that's the good thing. But it can go both ways because we can um, be too autopistic or infantile within our relationships. And we can let people that are not really worth it grow too close. People that have uh, bad habits with alcohol or drugs or could be too dependent. And we have to keep our borders in check, our energetic borders, and really uh, be more realistic within our relationship at this time. And if we want, if we need to deal with something, something needs to be corrected, not turn away from it, not be too autopistic about it, and deal with it. And later on, enjoy the romance and the love. So, thank you for listening, and may we have a beautiful week ahead. Bye-bye.